Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Prison Architect. This is the uh, beta or trial version of version 2 over here, with uh, some new building types, new GUI, which I think is quite good, other than the fact that Prison Architect, for some reason, refuses to order things in something that makes any vague amount of sense, like, I don't know, alphabeticalness. If you don't like the new GUI, you can turn it off, by the way, in Options uh, Game, right over here. Turn off the new GUI, but... I think it's it's fine. I think it's a perfect upgrade. I did overspend a little bit on our initial design over here. As a result, I actually was not quite able to finish these contracts. But now that the prison intake prisoner intake just gave us a reward, I can go and plop down uh, two guards. We'll probably need more. And two cooks. Like that. Completing that grant. We can also hire an accountant. Completing yet another grant. Then I will follow that up by taking... You know what? I'm thinking visitation rights. It's pretty easy to complete and actually helps keep the prison relatively stable. We're going to do that. And maybe the uh, staff well-being. I don't know if we're going to have quite that many guards. We could also just run up to cell block A, which wouldn't be too difficult. This is a little pricey, but not impossible. Cell block A has got a big advance payment. You know what? We're going to go ahead and take that. We're going to set the next uh, set of research. We definitely want to get maintenance up and running. And we need to... Well, there's a few different things we need. We could... Okay, we have finished this and that. That's good. We'll start on security with our warden. That's going to be okay. All right, so visitation rights. We need a visit visitation room and a common room are the big things. And I think that's what we're going to use this space right over here for. It doesn't mean the visitors are going to be passing by naked prisoners on the way in. But... Yeah, I think that's going to be that. What are you complaining about? No prisoners assigned to eat at this canteen. That's weird. Also, apparently I never hooked up the water properly here. There we go. That should hopefully be okay. But I mean, there's just no prisoners yet. Is part of it, right? So I didn't. Ex I only got six prisoners because I only. I didn't accept the minimum security people, which I think is fine. People are gonna get searched on their way in, which is also groovy. So for our visitation, visit visitors table over here. We're gonna want to make sure we can fit three, since that's the goal. And actually, we can do this pretty easily over here. You know, it's a little tight, but is that a bad thing? I don't think so. I'm going to call that space efficient, is what I'm going to do. Something just like that is going to be okay. And then, yeah, we can build a larger common room. Actually, we could do the thing where I've done before, which is this kind of one room all in all, which actually makes it a lot easier to babysit the prisoners. Uh, so we'll cancel that. I'll extend this out a little bit more this way and like that, and then put in a regular door right there. And then room, we're going to have visitation room, which is going to be this section, and then a common room, which is going to be the rest of it. We, we have one TV, so we're halfway there. Oh, I'm probably going to put the TV in the canteen, actually, as well as some phones, but the pool table... I think fits in relatively well here, and then we'll figure out the rest. So the visitors, again, can see how much fun the prisoners are having. They're not being mistreated. Everything is fine. We shouldn't have to assign the prisoners. Now, our guards are probably a little too busy here processing people. Not to see. Lockup period. People are still getting... There we go. Finally being hauled to the holding cells, and then that warning for the canteen goes away. Lovely. I'm wondering, does the small pipe, does it have to go to right underneath the middle sink? I guess that makes a lot of sense. Like, why is it keep still complaining about that? So, with two cooks, we should have plenty to feed everyone over here. And I think, I'm trying to remember, the ratio of fridges to cookers is something like two to one. So I think, um, I mean, we have too many cookers as is, but uh, for the amount of prisoners, but I think we will need some more fridges if we're going to keep up the ratio, but we'll worry about that later. So you guys are over here. I actually don't know why we can see inside the cell right now. Why do we have vision inside of that? Should it not be fog of ward? Odd. Also, I think a few more lights in the hallways over here, because, I mean, dark and dank is, is great and all, but that might be a little bit too much. And we'll put one right here as well. And actually, I guess we need some lights over here too. We'll put a light over each one of these. And then maybe pool table and down over there. And we'll have to run some electricity into there as well. This should cover the whole room, I think. Everyone else is all right and covered. Good. Power situation is 
fine. These lights should be okay, but we will have to get another capacitor relatively soon. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more guards over here. And... Yeah, this may be a little too crowded to fit a bunch of TVs, which is a bit unfortunate because it's actually a great place to passively keep moods up. We're going to put a radio in there. Let's do that. There's no actual mission for a radio. We'll put a radio in here, which people should listen. And then over here, we'll go ahead and plop down a TV, say in the corner over here. We can get a series oh, auto save. Thank you. Do those, and we'll get a couple of phone booths up in here too. There we go. That should complete everything that we need. We'll finish the visitation rights. Boom, done. Feeding people. Cell block A needs to come in. Um, then what else are we going to grab next? Medical ward, two doctors. Decent reward for completing that. It's pretty easy. You know what? Prison maintenance is actually very naturally what I'm going to go to next because it's already starting to get dirty and it'll be nice to go and fix that up. So this TV is there. We can see the spot for it. And I'm just going to put down a bunch of chairs. So people can sit and watch TV and be comfortable. And there's still light coming in over there, and that's going to be fine. Let's get the phones in. Excellent. So, next couple of missions, cell block A and the prison maintenance. We're working towards that via research, so that's going to be fine. Staff-wise, did we unlock anyone else we don't have? Um, I guess we'll get the psychologist down. Although we'll probably change you to a slightly different office later on. Well, no, we can do that now. It's not, it's not terribly roomy. But I will set up some extra chairs in there. This is where your patients will sit. Something like that. There we go. So you can you can do things later on. Ah, this is not a particularly secure area, though. No, we're definitely going to be... This is not going to be your office later on. We're going to go and re relocate you somewhere. I don't know if we can do that easily. I guess what I could do is build a new office, make these two not be offices, and then the psychologist will go and, and grab the other thing, and that'll be okay. Uh, this is going to become the cleaning room, which is going to be great and done. That's all good. We've got the yard. We haven't played with the scheduling in any way whatsoever right now. People are going to spend a fair amount of time in the lockup. We are researching security right now. I think it's in the queue. Yeah, maintenance into security, I think, is what's going to happen here. And because we're going to want to be able to do deployments and patrols relatively soon. Okay. People are eating. So, cell blocks. We're going to definitely figure out something with that. And... I want to have big wings. I want to be able to fit a lot of people into this prison. So what I think I'm going to do here is some sort of giant cell block structure that goes out like way, way, way over here. Potentially with its own shower. I mean, this shower here is, I don't know, maybe going to be an overflow shower block. Mostly I did it to complete the mission. It may not actually see much use. It's possible the people in the holding cell will use this from time to time. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they do have their showers over here as well, but we'll see how it goes. So we've got you there. We'll, we can do a shakedown at some point, but that's okay. Oh, you know what we should check is the intake for tomorrow. And yeah, we're good with taking a lot. So we'll take four medium, four max sec. That's going to be okay. And yeah, we will have to get some cell blocks up and running. Oh, right. I'm still thinking in terms of the classic individual cells. If I want to have a dormitory with shared cells, I just realized, well, again, this is just sort of placeholder stuff. Um... This, the length isn't quite the same, but that's okay. It's not really going to matter going forward. Well, sort of. Sort of annoying me a little. Well, no, it's not going to matter going forward, because there's going to be a bunch of, like, rooms on both sides of here that are going to be slightly different sized for different purposes. You know, classrooms, chapel. In fact, what I'll probably do is I will plan out um, the rest of the, the courtyard area. So let me do something like that. So let's say we stretch this out to something like this. Way like this. A relatively big yard for the future, so that's going to be good. Um, and then something like that. Like that. Like this. Okay. So that's all going to be that thing there. Objects. We're going to have large steel doors. Here and really here. Anyway, I'll put it here for now, and then we'll dismantle it later on and we'll adjust things to be more symmetrical there. In fact, we don't really need this door. We're going to have this now for construction, but we may just get rid of a bunch of these doors. Or we could leave them in there, because again, when you do decide to do the lockdown, all these doors slam shut. Let me test. 
Yeah, it does. And then lift it. Good. So all these doors slam shut. And the more you have, the more control over your prison you've got. So that's not a bad thing. So let's go and extend this out. And then we're going to figure out what we want to do in terms of our overall structure. We'd like to keep symmetry. It might not build that way. We actually didn't build in the middle of the map. We built lined up with this little thing here. I was I perceive as the entryway. Now we can go and say put down some paving stones out here to something like that. Like that's always how I perceive it. Now in the yard, that's something like a good question. Do we want to change what the yard looks like? I mean, I want to keep some grass, but we could have I mean, this is sort of spending money for, you know, maybe nothing. We could have something like that. And also, this guy's about to get locked in, which is not entirely ideal. I'll put a jail door through here. So technically, people can cut through if need be. Another one there. And maybe some large jail doors here and here. And this is going to be another yard. Which I guess I can flag right now. Uh, yard, yard, yard. Something like that. We also don't have any lights outside. How much money do I got? Okay, I'm not overspending. We're okay. So something like this, like this. Um, and then I'll figure out more lights a little bit later on. We'll just run electricity through the outside. Now, ooh, electricity doesn't auto-spread outside. I think you have to run the electrical cable through where the lights are. We'll see. I'll run this to start off with, and then we'll we'll figure out the next bit. Da -da 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 -da, da -da -da -da. Right, so this door here, I'm actually going to dismantle it because it's in the wrong place compared to this. Or this one is in the wrong place. Maybe I'll just dismantle both. We can reinstall them later. It doesn't cost me anything. There's some garbage in the way right now, so it's actually kind of annoying and stupid looking. Uh, maybe we'll get some lights in here as well, especially around the corners. Um, maybe around this far, like that. Here, 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 and there. Okay. So we still need to increase our prisoner capacity. I mean, right now we're over capacity because they're in the, the holding cells, but I don't know if they're that cranky about it. Got no vision in there, which I don't like. Really want to get some in there. Uh, we've unlocked bureaucracy. We need to unlock cleaning next. So um, cleaning, followed by groundskeeping. We need a foreman, which I will plop down right now. Boom. There we go. And then janitors and the gardeners as well. We can put a little like tree growing area in here. It doesn't all have to be a yard. Right now it's kind of a crummy yard. Bladder, bowels, bladder, bowels. I guess because it's yard time, it's not free time. You're going to go into lockup and free time. You'll be able to do that. Obviously, we're going to go and mess with that later on. There's a, there's a new split here with the work. So the work slash free time is how it used to work. So if anyone had a job, they would work the job. But if they didn't have a job, it would be treated as free time. Now we have this other variant, which allows us to do work lockup. So if you don't have a job, you are locked up instead. A little bit of rubble there that's got to be cleaned up. Seems to be a lot of that going on. And here, too, we will lock this open. Lock this open. And then we'll do the other one afterwards. You know, uh, the hope is to mostly make it easy enough for people to wander through the prison without having guards open and close doors constantly, because that can be a little bit frustrating. All right, just to finish up this construction here, because our workers are still busy, so it doesn't make much sense to get started on the, uh, the next phase of our expansion quite yet. We will have to run some electricity out here as well. Okay, so these lights do get connected. For some reason, I thought... Outside, you needed to reach, but I might be wrong. Well, clearly, I'm wrong, but that's okay. We'll run you this way. And actually, I will run you like this as well, because we'll need those connections later on. Power, still good. Getting a little bit close, so I'm going to preemptively go and drop down another capacitor over here, just to make sure we've got plenty of capacity in our capacitor. I mean, it's right there in the name. Yeah, garbage. Uh, we don't have an export yet. I should have built that earlier on, because sometimes when you smash wood, you can export it right now. I think it's just getting stored over here, but we can set that up. Maybe get rid of a few things. Lots of garbage to bring in and out. We need to keep this door locked because, I mean, at some point we need some sort of door that is controlling access to the outside, so we can't leave it wide open. All right. So what I'm wondering about is setting up a dormitory here and here. Which right now we're not gonna we're not gonna segregate 
prisoners. Well, we could make this the max, the high sec, make this low sec. Other than that, everything's going to be intermingled. Maybe the yards will be separated, but they'll eat in the same place. Maybe we can put them on separate uh, schedules. That's one of the easiest ways to do it. It spreads out your kitchen cooking load, and it makes sure that you don't, you don't overcrowd this area as well. That's probably a pretty good start. So... We may still want to leave space for some other kind of room over here. But let me go and at least do this. And this. And in the interest of, like, starting to make these two things symmetrical again, what I'll do is I'll plan out the dormitories to be some amount of space this way and this way, and then there'll be a gap here that will, again, classroom, chapel. We need a staff room. That's actually going to be one of our next grants that we're going to do, so we're going to definitely want to do that. So it requires an entrance, but where? I guess it doesn't really matter. The dorm's going to be just one big area. We can give them a couple of TVs in there again so that when they're in lockup, they don't go too miserable. So I'm going to put a large jail door. I mean, I guess I could line them up here. That's probably convenient-ish. Let's do that. There and there. And this can also be locked open here. That's going to be fine. So, I mean, I should really just build one at a time, but I'll put the foundation in both, and then I will probably just work on the top part to start off with. That door is jammed open, which doesn't feel particularly good. But I guess no one's running through there. It's not going to matter in a second once this foundation goes up, but it feels a little bit odd now to have that door jammed open. I could probably go and recruit some more workers, but I don't know. We don't have infinity money, so I'll hold off for now. But yeah, I'm a little bit worried about make people making a break for it. So we haven't looked at the prisoners. Um, they did change the game to make it very difficult, actually, for me to go and include subscriber names in here. There used to be a text file you can modify, but now it's part of, like, a data file. So the ones who are, like, you know, the named prisoners that come from the people who paid to be included in here, I can't override it as easily as I used to because we had, we had everyone named after subscribers for a while, and that was a hell of a lot of fun. So someone's going to pick up that garbage, which will happen. I'm just going to stop over too much. There we go. So that door closes properly. And that debris as well. We're just going to let them finish that up. Everyone is eating. We should have no problems feeding everyone. So this radio over here is presumably providing a little bit of entertainment. I don't know. Things are pretty dirty. Almost have cleaning unlocked. And we still don't have guard deployment either. Nope. Security is done. So I want deployment followed by patrols. Right. We need a chief of security. And then we're going to need an office for the said chief of security. So we will need some more office space. And in particular, I want the chief of security to take this office and the psychologist to have a larger office somewhere else. So I'll probably plan on that now, actually. I want the psychologist to have an office inside of our prison area. All right, finish that up. So what I'm thinking is something like... Uh, I guess I should use planning mode for this. So if, let's say I build a wall. No, we don't even need that much space. For a larger psychologist office, I mean, I could just make them longer, but what I'm wondering about is something like this and get a little hallway here. You know, something like that. So we've got more space, but that's kind of dumb amount of space. What if we do something... It could be a staff common room, psychologist office, um, laundry? Well, that's not too bad. I mean, that's probably too large for a staff room, although I could have this double as a bit of a security room or something like that later on. I think that works. And what I want to do is I want to do this as a priority because I want to, before I set up the security office... Da, 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 da. Technically, I'm overspending on walls, which will then get dismantled in a sec, but that's okay. Um, I guess I'll do that, that, and that. I mean, I guess I could just have people walk through too, but that's going to be okay. Let's get that going on. And then, yeah, we'll have a dormitory, and it will have a built-in shower as well. Especially since the other closest shower is over here. So the things may not be completely symmetrical depending on how I decide to place things, but I'm generally going to be okay with this. So getting in the doors, we can probably pre-plan some lights. Let's. I think the shrink's office should be nice and bright. This just needs one, and then 
couple in the staff room. Something like that is going to be good. And run some electricity in there. Something like that. This will need more electricity and lights. Next intake is going to be eight more. And obviously, right now we can sleep eight people in here, which is... Fine for now, but won't be soon. But that's okay. We're going to finish the cell block momentarily. Get the big dorm going on. So you're going to get all hooked up. Failed to route. Oh. Oh! Oh! oh I, I messed up. Um, material. Demolish this wall. Thank you. There we go. Hey, hey! We're not stuck anymore. So hopefully this gets reset. After a little while. I hope I don't have to cancel it. We'll see. So... We're setting this up to be a new office. Why did all the lights everywhere just dim? Is that just me? New office over here with a office desk that faces that way. And a chair. And we'll give you a filing cabinet. And then we'll have the extra chairs for the shrink functionality. So we're going to let this get finished. So it counts as an office. Then I'm going to dismantle the psychologist's office. So he should move over here. And then I'll rebuild it. I mean, just redesignate the room. And then hire the um, the security chief. So it's going to be that. This is going to be our staff room over here. Mm, staff, staff room. Bam, which needs one sofa and one drinks machine. We might make it a little fancier later on too. But um, let's set up the sofa right there. And the drinks machine right next to it. This will enable us to do another um, contract relatively soon. I can hire janitors right now, so I should probably start with that, because this place is filthy. I need at least two. I'm going to hold off for now, because I don't want to overspend again too aggressively. How's our power situation? It's fine. Good. Okay, that office counts as an office. So what I'm going to do is go to the rooms, and it feels like we are getting brownouts. Doesn't make sense. We seem to have a lot of electricity. I'm confused. Anyway. There you go. You're reassigning yourself. Excellent. And then we're going to flag this as a new office. So now I can put down the chief of security. So that's going to be yours. Perfect. And we could queue up some research. I guess I already queued up the research for you. Okay, good. So you do that. Janitor is going to be working. Staff room is there. So hopefully people can start resting. Da, da, da. And hire gardener. So we're going to let that finish. Do that. This we're going to use for something later on. And over here... We're going to plant a dormitory and an attached shower. How do I want to arrange this, actually? There's a couple of different ways I could do this. I mean, we don't need the dormitory to be huge. We can fit a surprising number of people in here by doing something as simple as, say, this. And then, with that in mind, I could build some sort of brick wall here and put a shower over there. Uh, once the walls get built. Oh, is it when I open these, it lights up and then I go away and some things dim? There might be something like that. Definitely feels like the light's coming and going. Maybe there's like a lighting recalculation that happens. I don't know. Probably. Alright, you guys do that. We'll get 20,000 bucks when we complete this, which actually won't take very long at all. You don't count as being enclosed? Really? So this shower room here... Oh, really? Right, because it's got to be able to be sealed in completely. So I'm going to have to do this. For that to count. Hmm. I mean, I guess that's probably okay. And enough showers to handle this relatively packed area. Actually, I'm going to cancel that one because we're going to use that for drains. Like that. And then brick wall over that way. And then I'm just going to preemptively just take down one of these walls here in case anyone gets stuck in there because that would be kind of annoying and awkward. And shower goes to, what, here? Yeah. I guess it might just be when I'm moving around my mouse and the lighting changes. That might be the only thing that's confusing me. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to get bunk beds up in here. 
I'm worried about making this too crowded, having people start to flip out, but we'll see how it goes. So we'll set up some... Oh, insufficient funds. Uh-oh. Uh, that's okay. Raise prisoner capacity to 15 should complete with just these beds. Hopefully. Mm. Oh, you need a toilet in here, too. Uh, uh, you know what? Let me dismantle one of these. Oh, we get the prisoner intake soon, too. So we're going to get money as soon as the prisoners arrive. But let's do that so that we can just move the toilet in there, complete the area, which will complete the cell block. I'm spending very aggressively here. Clearly way too aggressively. Could I have put... I may have been able to put the drains in this doorway anyway. And I think what I can do with this is I can have this count as locked open, and this will still count as being sealed in. I think that's going to be okay. All right, the toilet was dismantled, which means now I can go and do this. There we go. It's not going to be a functional toilet, but I think it'll still give us credit for completing the room. And as soon as we do, our capacity should skyrocket. Uh, we can hire a gardener. We'll complete the prison maintenance. We just need money for the gardener. But again, that'll happen automatically as soon as we get that. Grant completion. Excellent. That finished. Wonderful. And I'll also plop down a gardener at the same time, which will complete the other grant. Beautiful. So what are we going to take next? I would like to take the um, staff well-being initiative because we should be a pretty good place to do that. And then probably the inmate health and well-being, because we're actually most of the way there with the psychologist and everything like that. All we need are a few more guards, so that there's some of them who aren't busy. Done. And actually, we would have wanted more guards regardless. So let's get some water piped over here so that this area is actually useful. So we're going to run you, say, this way. So we're going to run you past there and into this room. And then pipe. I like that. And that's counting as a shower. Great stuff. Okay. So now we've got a dormitory over here. And we'll change the security rating and we'll give them some extra amenities in here momentarily. But actually, what would probably be a good idea for an amenity right now would be, say, lights. So let's go something like that. Like that. And then a couple lights in the shower. And get some electrical cable to reach that room. And we'll need electricity in here at some point, whatever this room ends up being. Here, we'll put a couple of lights down. And that's going to be okay. So more prisoners are coming in. We've got some people who are a little cranky. They've got serious complaints. Can I get information about that for needs? Yeah. Hygiene's really bad. Um, they're far away from the shower time. No, it's right up here. So they're about to get a shower. So they should be okay soon. Hopefully okay. I mean, we've got these showers working. They did have access to those showers. And the place is finally being cleaned up, which is hopefully going to help a lot. Can we do deployments? We can. Do I want to leave a garden here all the time? I'm not sure about that. Having a guard full-time in a canteen is usually a good idea. And... My full-time guard in this area so that we can always access this. And there's a lot of people who may be walking around here, so that seems like a good idea. So the intake has happened. We're in lockup. I'm going to let them shower, and then after that, I'm going to do a shakedown. Assuming the showers are even complete, which may or may not be there. There we go. There's our intake. Lots of money coming in. Some staff members are exhausted. They do have the ability to take a break, though. They've just been working really hard so far. They're shower time, but these showers don't actually work. Some people are complaining about a lack of exercise as well. So, actually, I should really, for the next yard time, I should make sure that we've got some weight benches set up here. Maybe in both yards. I actually don't know which ones they'll prioritize. Put in some nice gaps here. I call that good enough for now, actually. They're quite expensive. And we'll need to build a medical ward, which is what's going to be built. Actually, I guess this could be our medical ward over here. Um, yeah, I don't see any reason we couldn't do that. Staff door. Do, do, do. Infirmary. 
We need one medical bed. That's all we need for now. And two doctors. Uh, I'm going to wait for this to actually be considered a complete room. I'll put down two doctors and then immediately fire one. Because there's no reason we need two at a time. She's using the toilet there. We're going to try to improve that. Yes, you do need exercise. Um, you've got some free time coming up. But we're going to do a shakedown. Which I will go and hire a couple more guards for. Because this is a pretty big and involved process. It'll go a lot faster with more guards. Get that cleaned up. So this counts as an infirmary. Great. So I'll go and put down one, two doctors. Complete that. And then immediately sack one. So we don't have to pay his salary. Because one's going to be more than enough for now. Working on feeding the prisoners. We'll make an adjustment to some of the schedules soon, but not yet. A cell block B requires us to get up to 50 people. Just by building like more bunk beds in here, we're going to get most of the way there. But I do, again, I want a little bit of fun options in here as well, just to keep them from snapping too much. Tomorrow, 31 prisoners will arrive. Can we handle that? Yeah, almost certainly. People are unhappy about being unnecessarily searched, and they have some complaints, family, exercise... Um, we should get them a couple more phones out here. And actually, where they stay, we'll put some phones in there as well. Uh, we'll just have to figure out the spacing here. I guess it doesn't really matter. I could go... So I put a couple of phones over here. Let me get them some extra toilets over here so that they're not too crowded. Again, we'll give them a token brick wall between... And we will give them a little bit of entertainment by giving them a TV, which is... I think that's facing the right way. Yeah, that's the back. Good. Perfect. And, I mean, they've got one in the common room, but they might be spending a lot of time in here, so... Really, your name's Kitten? Alright. I won't judge. And some bunk beds. Something like that. It's not the most efficient packing... We can make some adjustments. Um, if I don't build a wall here, actually, then I feel a lot more comfortable about putting a bunk bed right there. There we go. Okay, some of the crankiness is going down. That's good. People are going to have a chance to get some exercise now. And there's lots of phones kicking around so they can call their family. Use that need. There you go. So you've got a family need. We've got the visitation center as well, so hopefully you'll get some people who visit you there. I think, actually, I'm going to keep a guard in there. Especially with the visitation. And there we go. And I do want to separate the max, the high security cell quality one, which is average. Hmm. Right. That's a whole new thing. We can make very swanky cells later on for different things. We got more pr more meals than prisoners somehow. Ooh, we found some more contraband. Oh, we, we don't have a solitary confinement. Which I think is going to be all the more meaningful now that we've got um, this sort of communal setup. I could actually redo this to be a string of solitary confinement prisons. Do I want to do that? Sure. You dismantle that. Yeah, this is fine. You don't actually need the solitary door. Hmm. I could have them be big solitary rooms, which is not normally the way I do it. But I suppose if people are going to be spending... They might spend a lot of time locked up in solitary. We may want to have just a little bit more amenities for them. Maybe this is just a crummy way to do that. You know what? Um, don't don't dismantle this door. We'll figure out another place to do it. I don't know what I'll use that for. could be a very tiny laundry, which I think what I talked about earlier. And that wouldn't be too, too bad. So they've got the TV in there. They've got a place to sit and do that. Place is filthy. If we can get some um, some worker, some uh, prisoner cleaners, that would be quite nice. What are we going to work on next? This is all approved. Oh, prison policy. We want to unlock that. Micromanagement. Uh, logistics. Deployment scheduler. Reform program scheduler. I guess we'll unlock this. We may want to unlock the bank loan option as an emergency. And perhaps the extra grant as well. Okay, we can hold off on the others. We actually don't have any grants running right now. Ten guards, chief security, unlock patrols, and assign three guards. Well, we're most of the way there. That's great. This is, would be assigning prisoners to do some work, which I would very much like to get started on. 
because laundry, kitchen, and cleaning cupboard doesn't need any specific education. So we'll see if we can get that up and running. Guards, unlock patrols, nearly done. So, oops. We're going to get ourselves up to 10 guards then, complete that aspect of it. And then we'll assign some patrol routes soon. Okay, lock up midday. So we still have 20 more hours until we get the next big influx. And I think we'll be able to build another giant dormitory. And then we'll spread, we'll split the, uh, the high sec and low sec. And we've always got the holding cell over here for some overflow. We can throw some extra bunks in here. Uh, that would be pretty damn manageable. So thank you very much for watching another episode, folks. I'll see you guys next time.